Hello and welcome to Beehive 101. In this video, we're going to cover setting up and customizing external signup forms. This is a feature that can be very helpful if you're using a third-party website like a Shopify web store or Webflow website or WordPress website to host your broader ecosystem and you're integrating that site with Beehive. What these forms allow you to do is to, with a couple clicks, have a method for collecting subscribers and signing them up to your email list without using an API. Very powerful, very simple to use. The first step is to jump into your settings and navigate to uh, publication. Over here on the end, where it says subscribe forms. The first step is to click create new form. It's going to open up this drawer where you can give it a name. For this example, I'm going to use the name test. This could be anything. This is not customer facing. This is not user facing. It should be descriptive typically of where you're going to deploy it. So homepage sign up form or something like that. The header may or may not appear to the public based on which option you choose, which will become more clear in a minute. We can call this test sign up for the test newsletter. We promise you won't regret it. This header is going to be the big text that shows up on the top. If you choose a form that has that, the description is going to be below, similar to how you have the title and the subtitle on your subscribe pages. This input placeholder is going to be what shows up for the user before they start entering your email address. If you're international and you want to customize it into a different language, this button text is going to be customizable to allow you to customize that call to action. The color palette is going to dictate some of the colors that are used. Uh, I'm going to keep these as defaults. I'm also going to keep these as defaults because they match the styling that we've set up. Then in terms of uh, submission behavior, you can either choose to show a thank you message that will just show up on the screen that they're on, or you can redirect the user to an external page like a follow on form or to the actual Beehive newsletter if you're using an external website. Once we have these settings set, we're going to click save. We're going to view. This is what I was referring to when I said that there's a couple different options. Full width is going to give you a piece of code that's going to have all of this information and it's going to take up the full width of whichever container code wise it's dropped into. You take this what's called an iframe and you would put this you know on your website and it's just going to fill whatever size is there on the website. Fixed width is going to have a set width so you could drop it into an element and if the parent element on the website is 800 pixels wide this is only going to take up 480 it's not going to actually fill the entire width it's going to be fixed with these dimensions by changing these dimensions you can modify the size of this area I think by far the most popular version is the slim embed, which is only going to give you just this little form. You can really use whatever site you're integrating with to do more of the messaging. You won't have this headline or the description. You just have this form. This can be dropped in really easily. It's only going to take up, in terms of the footprint, this tiny amount of space. You can really fit it in a lot of different places, whether it's the footer or underneath a headline that's on the website. Lastly, if you're of the mind to be tracking your subscribers, which we hope you are, using something like Google Tag Manager or if there's a built-in way to deploy a script into a website in the header, you can take this script and drop it into that header tag or into Google Tag Manager using a custom HTML tag. And this will actually grab the UTM parameters and the source and medium of the traffic that's coming to your site and will store it within Beehive. So within Beehive, you can see where your traffic's coming from, how they're you know being acquired, whether it's ads and whatnot. If some of that sounds a little bit foreign, we have some other material that we have that can get you up to speed in terms of understanding tracking and the importance of tracking. If you're already at that point, this will help close the loop on some of your tracking efforts. And there you have it. It's not too difficult, just a couple configuration settings and dropping this code onto your website. Thank you so much for your time. We look forward to seeing what you build. Let us know what you do with this in the comments.